What's the problem with Indians skiing to live and work in America? Indian students complete three-year BBA when four years of higher education is required for American master's degree. That's not a good scheme. You should have four years bachelor's degree or three years BBA and one additional year of higher education or two years master's degree before applying for American master's degree. If you don't have four years bachelor's degree from India, you can't apply for H-1B until you complete your master's degree. Most Indian students apply for master's degree in America without prior work experience. That's not a good scheme. What manager wants to hire fresher without work experience? You should have five years of work experience prior to studying for master's degree in America or two years of work experience if you are a woman. Most Indian students want to study two years master's degree with only coursework and without research. That's not a good scheme. What's the value of a master's degree if you don't have research experience? You should have research experience so you know how to solve problems and you learn to learn. Indian students with master's degree will apply for one year optional practical training and two years STEM extension. But OPT is student training and not real job. While you are on OPT and OPT STEM extension, you can apply three times for H-1B with your employer, but you only have 20% chance of getting H-1B. Four out of five Indian students don't get H-1B and have to return to India. That's not a good scheme. Why would you try for H-1B with 80% chance of failure? If you are lucky enough to get H-1B sponsorship, there's no guarantee that your employer will sponsor you for employer-based green card. When you are H-1B technology worker, you are a specialty skilled worker, not a manager. You don't have a chance to be promoted on H-1B. When you are an H-1B, you are a fresher or senior fresher, but can't become architect or product manager without changing your H-1B application. That's not a good scheme. Why would you want to work as a fresher or senior fresher for 30 years? If your employer sponsors you for employer-based green card, you have to wait 30 years for all other Indians in queue ahead of you. While you are waiting 30 years for a green card, you don't get promoted and you work as a fresher or senior fresher for 30 years. That's not a good scheme. Why would you want to work as a fresher or senior fresher for 30 years? Wages for Indians on H-1B are below the average wages for American technical workers. That's not a good scheme. Why would you want to work for 30 years at wages below American technology workers. Don't believe that Indian claims that Indians are highly skilled, highly paid. Problem with Indian skiing to live and work in America. Donkey Desi American Professor. Jai Hind and God bless America.